interesting cocktail this is, Christine. No, you didn't even try it okay, yet. You're Put right. it up I'm to your liar. lips I'm a liar. and suck it down. Okay, that's what she said. What do you think? Oh, this is a special one. It's very, very good. What's in it? Special? Well, compared to the rest, yeah. No, you like it better? Yeah, I like, like it Honestly, most. this is one of your favorite Please ones. Please stop harassing me and yelling at me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to hear about the drink. It's, it's like a pear, and it's got LaCroix, and it's got ginger. I, I chopped up some ginger, and I put it in. I can taste it. I love ginger. It's, it's just so good one for the- big chunk of ginger that just put, I put it in there because we're short on time. Yeah. Isn't ginger one of the ugliest, what is it, a vegetable? It's ugly, yeah. It's ugly, right? It looks so gnarly. But it's so cool. I know. It tastes delicious. This is yum, yum, yummy. What oh, else I'm is so in it besides you like ginger? It. It's ginger. It's- Everybody, there's ginger in our tumbler. There's ginger. There's some lemon zest, mm-hmm. some ice cubes, and Blue- two blueberries for garnish. And uh, Ooh, I have three. It's, it's- <laughs> Winning. Yeah, because, yeah. Par- pear juice, uh, like straight pear juice. Mm. Um, okay, look, this outfit that I'm wearing mm. is Dilo. They hook Dilo. it up every single time. You look amazing, seriously. You look amazing. Thank you. I feel like we wouldn't pick these out ourselves. No, and we're so dumb. We are should. You, are you kidding me? Th- this is I not would something you would pick, pick out. This. Oh, but it's great. You look. At, you, nobody I, can see I you look, right now, or some people can. Whoever's watching, whoever's smart. <laughs> <laughs> you have to watch this because this outfit is fire. is worth it. It's worth it. And she's it's, wearing a little it's bow tie like necklace. A clown. I look like a clown, but like one of those that you would see in the '70s that mm-hmm. like sang and danced. And, you it's know. very Donna Summer. It's okay. It's yes. Donna Summer. It's yes. giving Donna Summer. Thank yes. You. And 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 with that, I go forward. So, um, I, I was, digress. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, pregnant twice, okay. right, with my children, mm-hmm. and then um, <laughs> that's how that works. W- Brendan's children, right? Yes. Okay. Good. Yes, yeah. Brendan's children. And what it is is, um, I, you know, I the first time around, I hadn't been taking care of my body. I was very, very thin and very like not well mm-hmm. and, but I was so blessed with having a healthy pregnancy mm-hmm. I gained 60 pounds okay I went from a size zero to a size four mm. and then I went and these fucking doctors here in California were like you need to slow down and gaining weight they actually told me that Whoa. And my sister-in-law was from Alabama she's like you do not need you eat all, you feed that baby. I thought said. weight was supposed to sort of help that. Well, help getting pregnant, right? It wasn't that the whole Meghan Markle thing? She had to gain weight. That's what I read oh, in yeah. Spare. She had to gain weight to have her first child, You're to have Archie. A Meghan Markle fan, huh? Thank you. We'll be right back with these complete <laughs> <laughs> messages. I don't even know where to go with that. Um, I just don't, I have I have no understanding of her and who she is. So, Oh, me neither. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Hear I think that's the whole part is that she's very enigmatic. Yeah, right, right. That's gorgeous. Like the whole Absolutely ruse, gorgeous. Obviously. I know that. She's a solid actress. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. And she's had suits. two babies just like you. That's right. Okay, oh my God. back okay, to two yeah. babies. Okay, so the first time I was, you know, I was not, I was not healthy. Mm-hmm. And so the, by the second time I was a size four... Or uh, yeah, and then and then I went, I I, I bounced back a little bit, right? Okay. So that I was between the two and the four, mm-hmm. and and I was like, oh cool, I have like all these curves. To me, I thought that was curvy. Now my second kid, I went from a four or went from like a two and a half, whatever, to a six. Okay, actually bordering on like an eight. Okay, now for someone who was literally like a hundred. Uh, 110, mm-hmm. 115 pounds, mm-hmm. five, seven and a half, mm-hmm. their whole life. I don't, are you describing me, Christy? Thank you. <laughs> you are an itty bitty girl. Mm. So w- with that in mind and also struggling with that and eating and stuff like mm-hmm. that, I don't know. It was just wild. And I, oh, queen supporting queens. Mm-hmm. Kiki fucking Kiki Palmer. Can we just? I love her so much. I cannot. I love her. She's so talented. I would be remiss mm-hmm. if I did not mention my affections for this woman. Yeah, she's great. I'm so glad she has a podcast She now. doesn't know I exist. <laughs> well, who does, Christy? <laughs> I know, right? No. That's why we're might. doing this. No, I'm just you kidding. You know what's funny? is She just might know. I know she Of course does. she knows she who we all are. Her. Yes. You kiss well, the ring. Uh, uh, yeah, right? You kiss the ring of the, uh, ki- of the people that came before you on like the Disney or the Nickelodeon. Yes, and she's a musical theater person. She's been on Broadway. Her. Didn't she do Cinderella on oh, Broadway? I'm obsessed with it. You, anything you say about Kiki Palmer, I'm like, oh, God. Well, she just is so right. So she had a baby. Yes. And she's talking about how she's owning her curves. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh my God, I love my body, baby. And she's like, oh, she's wild about it. I feel that. I feel that from having the journey of being emaciated, mm-hmm. being unhealthy, mm-hmm. to then having the curves and be like, fuck, I like this. Mm-hmm. I like the way I, my body feels. Yes, yeah, something to hang on to. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't want this to go away. So the second time, I didn't even think about bouncing back. I was like, I'm a size six. Uh-huh. And now if I'm in between a four, six, whatever the fuck I am, right. like, I don't even know. It's incalculable. I don't step on a scale. I'm just Good. happy. I think we should take a um, take a page or a cue. Yes. From... Samira, 
who was just here. Oh, you yes, know, about, yes. About what the word fat means now and that it doesn't need to be a shameful word. Are you saying I'm fat? Yes, you're fat. <laughs> I love it. Well, if I was... You know what? I'll fucking take it. If I, if I was, you know, that'd be I a compliment, like, right? I was too skinny. You, like, were, you are. You're long. very thin, Christy. You very noticed thin. my butt. We were changing in We were the changing. Bathroom. Great butt. I she knew you had good boobs. Good but, but you do. It's a bubble butt. It is a bubble yes. butt. Yes. Thank you. Yes, it's perfect. Speaking of butts, yes. does your boyfriend have a good butt? Yes, he does. My husband has the most amazing butt. Does he? Why? Why? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me why. like a bubble but yeah, bubble, it's bubble, just, bubble, butt. It sits bubble, right bubble. up, and and sometimes I'm like, "Could you dance for me?" Oh my god, he does. That's how you keep it spicy. That's you make cute. Him dance what for what you. music do you put on? Nothing. I just say, "Just do it." Oh, and he does. I just he don't. Does. I don't believe you. I don't know why I don't believe that Brendan does that. But he does. He'd be so mad if we were talking about this no, right he now. Would it? Good thing he'll never know. A good thing he'll never. <laughs> <laughs> Tagging Brendan right now, right? Brendan, Brendan Fraser. <laughs> <laughs> um, but worth it though, right? Worth worth the kids. Worth oh, worth. Oh yeah. Well, also I think that um, my partner is an amazing partner to have kids with. I think like that's super important. I was on. Oh god, girl. What? So I was on the way here from Austin, mm-hmm. and there was a, a couple um, on the plane. Oh god. Oh no. Oh Tell god. Me. What? It was like she was a she was like a younger lady who was like a model here or something, uh-huh. and he was a guy. I shit you not. Who wore a bucket hat. <laughs> What? I don't even like those on women. No, 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 no. no. He, was, he wore a bucket hat. And he had roll-up capris. Ooh, with, cute. With, cute. with Birkenstocks. But he was like an overweight 50-year-old man. Oh. So it was not working for him. It was like, it was, and he was not European. Right. <laughs> okay. Because if you see a European with capri pants, you're like immediately. Makes it yeah. makes sense yeah. that tracks your yeah, like yeah, from yeah. your. Yeah. Where's Dutch. your? Yeah. Let me hear your accent. Yeah, you're Dutch. I'm Dutch. Yes. Like, Dach. well, no. But if some, if a man is wearing Birkenstocks a capri. and a it's capri, it's very European je- for sure. For sure. Well, it was a jean. <laughs> it was a. It's a rolled up capri jean. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm hating on this man. But 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 she was very upset with him. I wouldn't have been surprised if he had just cheated on her and she found out because she was in his face over the seat mm. and they <gasps> had a t- they had a 18 month old oh, with no. them oh how sad and and it, and, and it made me fucking sick yeah, i'm sure it made everyone on the plane sick probably and they were in first class and it's like oh. money cannot buy you, buy you good happiness. fucking parenting or or happiness which we well know from bravo and the real housewives right or yeah. you can't get those girls to have fun on any trip whatsoever it's sad mm. <laughs> Poor, that's kind of what it felt like to me. It was like that whole vibe, yeah, that like rich. darkness. Well, I'm, and I'm, like that's the truth. Is like I don't give a fuck how much money I I may be able to earn in my lifetime mm-hmm, if mm-hmm. I don't have a good partnership with the father of my children. Mm-hmm. It, that is probably one of my highest achievements. Is that we've grown to a place where we can have a business together and love each other and like oh, yeah. But you are so clean. Al- aligned. I mean, you both went to Columbia, so you're obviously educated and smart and, and all of those wonderful things. But I then guess. you have that artistic side as well. Yeah, it's so cool. What a bond. Yeah, thank you, baby. You're welcome. And speaking baby. of connecting, yeah. our guest today yes. is someone that you obviously connect with. Oh my God, who? Hopefully on a nightly basis. Who? Um. Well. Uh huh. What's his name? It's John. O. Never heard of him. Okay, I'm just oh, kidding. It's a great name. <laughs> it is a great name. John No. John No. John No. John Yes. Yes. John O. Um, <laughs> I know. I, I, when I first heard his name, I was like, "What?" You know. But now I love it. <laughs> He's gonna kill me. I love it. I remember reading that, reading it on the call sheet, and then everybody when we started dating was like, "Wait, what? John O. John O." And I'm like, "I know. It's weird. Just call him John." And then I called him John for like so, so long. I just called him John. But you know, I always saw myself with John. Isn't that funny? That's amazing. Isn't that funny? I really did always. I saw myself with John. Anyway, um, I love his name now, John O. John O. John O. Have you ever heard of a John O? This is John O. Wilson. John o. He's our guest for today. John O. Wilson, the cutest, sexiest, nicest, funniest guest we've ever had and Aww. ever will have. Aww. Yes, I love him. <laughs> I love that we start off every time we cut back from commercial, we, we just start with that. People, Woo! Like, people will hate. There's no commercial. Oh, there's not? No. Oh, God. What are we going to do when we screw up? Well, maybe what are we going to cut to? Maybe there will be a commercial okay. soon. Okay. Oh, that's right. That's Cheers. Right. Cheers, Cheers to sponsorships. John O. John Wilson. Cheers. Hi, John o. Wilson. You both look beautiful. Thank I love you. this set. I'm so honored to be here. Oh, my God. What an angel. Thank I'm you. I'm just happy I didn't wear a bucket hat in my jean capris. Ah! <laughs> Thank he did a he did a callback. That's a callback. So close. I was You're, so close. <laughs> I mean, you know. Well, I think the most important question, the first question is what's it like being with the most talented, beautiful woman and actress in the world on Elisa Vanderpool? It's Nirvana. Oh. 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 You had that in your back pocket, didn't you? Well, it took you a while to ask the question, so I had a minute <laughs> oh, to think shut about up. it. You no, shut it. It would I mean, come on. Let's be honest. I'm I laugh every single day. Like, what's she like? What's she like so at home? Hard. She's oh my God. She's just a dream. She's just fluttering around the house. No, she hangs out on the couch, 
watches her Bravo and makes me laugh all day. Oh, <laughs> that's all you could ask for. You're so sweet. Where are you coming from today? Did you work today? What, what's going on? Please tell me you did something, okay? Instead of sitting at home, just eating all the snacks. And I'm trying to <laughs> pretend like no. I have some sort of like I played banter. golf this morning. Oh, It's my yeah. first day off in five weeks, so I played golf. Okay. Um, and then I got a workout in, Ooh. and then I just like s- counted the minutes until I could come here and see you guys. You know the difference between like him and like like Brendan is that like he doesn't he can do the same thing that he just said he did, mm-hmm. and he'll be met with such vitriol and anger because I'll be like, oh, you? I'll be like, oh, did you work out? Oh, did you? Did oh, you? Yeah. Did Was that you? Good for you? Did you go golfing? Wait, why? Did you? Because I was with the fucking kids because all night. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, yeah. where the fuck were you? Yeah. I mean, I love him to death, and it happens. It happens. This is why you don't have kids. Oh, I, we're no, not. We're the, not doing it. The it other three fight. guys, the other three guys that I played with, literally talked about that on for half the round. <clears throat> Tell me, what did they say? I need to know. Yes. It is really funny because <laughs> I, I don't want to blow up anyone's. Do ball. it. Like one of the guys that I play with will do a voice like he's Rodney Dangerfield from the '70s talking about his wife. Oh no! So it's really sexist and inappropriate. Yeah. It's, oh god. No, no, but it's not. It's just like. Well, why do you have to play golf? And I'm just like, I want to play golf. And she's like, well, why? And I'm like, she doesn't sound anything <laughs> <laughs> like that. Like real life. That. Good she's, a, she's a lovely woman. What are you talking about? And he's like, no, I just, you know, I, I tell her that I'm going to be gone for a couple hours on Saturday. And she's like, oh, must be nice. <laughs> I'm just being, you picture like a 65-year-old woman. It's, it's not. Oh, the f- we are shapeshifters when we're angry. That's the truth. If you don't know it by now, I could literally just be a demon. Demon, and you don't even know it if you I mean, piss me off enough. Is it, my husband says that my eyes go black. No. Well, they are brown. Yeah. I mean, well, I can brown. see that. And he yeah, says that when brown. I get really angry that my oh, eyes go black. black. Oh, like a Stepford wife. <laughs> How funny. You know, John and I don't really fight. I mean, we still have years to, to do that, but we've been together, what, three years? Can't wait for those years. Me neither. We've been together for three and a half years. What? Annalisa never remembers our anniversary. <laughs> oh, that's yes, okay. I do. No, you don't. Sure. When is it? It's February 22nd. Did She didn't say it. No, I used to say it's like it's it's the second and two thousand two, right? And he's Wait, like, no. Do you want to hear something super fucking crazy? Yes, always. My anniversary for dating Brendan uh-huh. is February twenty second. Shut no. up. Ours is two two two. Yeah, yeah February twenty second. That's really weird. That is weird. No, Gosh, no, 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 so no. Weird. Like, I, wait, yeah. uh, can somebody, can somebody please Google when Christy Romano Day is in Milford, Connecticut? What? What, what? I, day? Please Google this because it is the same day. That is my holiday in the town. They gave me the key to the city. Ooh, I whoa. can't make this shit How up. How old were you when and this I, happened? Yeah, I, was, I was after Bell, okay. and my father knows a lot of people politically in Connecticut. My, 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 my godfather was the senator of Connecticut. Um, oh, Chris Dodd. Fucking A! Oh my God! But that is crazy. Not only d- d- is your day my day, but it's also me and my husband's day. I love it. It's meant when to be. We, we share the same... This is wonky. Well, I know. I feel like I see two, two, two all the time too on my phone. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. it's it's yeah, meant yeah, to yeah. be. It's meant to I'm be. I'm sorry. I Can didn't I, mean to just like take that. No, no, no. no. I have a question about that actually. I know this is your show, but what does what do you get when you get a key to the city? <laughs> Can you question. just do anything you want in that city? You get bragging rights for me to be able to of say course. something yes. like right, that. Right, I guess. Right. But ultimately, I do think that you're you're always kind of tethered to that city or that town Mm -hmm. and it's a small small city so it's more like a big town Mm -hmm. and it's a it's a beautiful little place and I don't get to I don't live there and my my mom sold the house so it's kind of like um I don't really I don't really do much but if somebody called me from that town and they'd be like hey we need you to come here Mm -hmm. we need you to do x y and z Mm -hmm. like I filmed my first movie that I directed a little kids movie a little Christmas movie Mm -hmm. it was really cute Mm -hmm. and they let me just like run the town Mm -hmm. they let me go to the park and they let me shoot this place and that place without permits so you you had the key you had the key key. (laughs) I had a plaque I want to give my boyfriend a proper introduction besides this is my boyfriend Jono Wilson Jono is an actor comedian and writer who starred in Showtime's I Love That For You as Perry St. James was Micah in the Mormon? Was Micah the Mormon on the finale of the last season of Curb Your Enthusiasm? I got him that role, I, I, that audition. We auditioned together. It was, yeah. it was all my yeah. my genius. You did. I believe it. <laughs> and the most important credit he has is he played Chelsea's ex husband on Raven's Home. He also has a big following on IG and TikTok for his comedy sketches and his celebrity impressions. Can we, yes. Can we, can we have fun with some of those characters? Of yes, we, we, we called Tom Hanks. We called Tom Hanks and he couldn't, he couldn't, he said he couldn't do he couldn't this come. round. He couldn't do this interview. I can't believe it. Okay, so. Tom Hanks is not Why do you happening. think? Why do you think he couldn't come? What was he doing? Are you asking me as 
Time, you want me yeah, to answer? You know what I'm hands? doing? Just do it, babe. It's Come a bit. On. It's a bit. Just I love it. Do it. If you're it's 22nd, let's go. Uh, I I wish. <laughs> I'll be honest. I wish I could have come, but Rita had a dentist appointment, and when she gets Novocaine, she needs me to be there for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh. <laughs> See, that's good improv, right? I that's wish I could do improv. Insane. Yeah, the dentist thing. Where did he come up with that? I don't know. If he's very good at improv, do you ever think maybe he's good at lying to you? Well, now I do. What? Okay, we're also all actors, so you can say that too. Are you too. breaking us up? Are you trying to break oh us up? God, I love it. No, He's trying no. to see, once you said we don't really fight much, Christy's we do, like, know, right? I'm going to get so this jealous. fight. You we like have Bravo. Do you I'm know? creating the drama. For yeah. Ooh, very good. Yeah. I do love Bravo. We watch Bravo together. How much do you love Bravo now? Do you love Bravo? I love it. Yeah, he loves it. I'm He's addicted. Obsessed. I'm completely addicted. Yes, so you're like one of those guys that's like, babe, babe, don't watch this. Babe, what do you, what don't No, it would start, it started where like, she would be, uh, she'd be like, I want to watch Bravo. And I'm like, babe, babe, no, babe, babe, no. See, that's babe, fine. That's fine. No, babe, fine. no. Bravo, no, babe, no. <laughs> no. That's like, She's I like, have the worst guy impression. I apologize. Uh, no, that was, it's, 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 it's close. But I, um, I'd be like, all right, we can watch Bravo when we get into bed because I am more of an early sleeper and she likes to stay up. And I would always like, she'd turn it on and I'd be like, all right, good night, love you. And I'd turn over and like, and I'd be kind of looking out of the corner of my eye. And eventually I'd turn over and I'd be like, why is Kelsey being such a bitch right now? <laughs> you know? I can't believe Tom Sandoval cheated. <laughs> oh God, we are still with that. I'm sorry, sorry, thing. sorry. I'll Do get you have over. an opinion I, about that? Actually, I'm curious. I have a lot of opinions about it. Um, how long do we have? No. We have, um, we have 20 minutes and 55 seconds. Listen, I, it's obviously horrible. The thing that takes it to the next level is that it was with her like best friend that he was cheating with. Mm -hmm. I do think that everyone needs to take this with a grain of salt because every one of those people on the stage has cheated on either their wives or girlfriends <laughs> or husbands or boyfriends. So right. it's like the fact that this is the one that is the most explosive I don't know. I think it's good for the show, and they're using it as a little bit of the PR. Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah. Um, just because that's old news. Um, <laughs> and it'll be it'll be so old by the time it'll be this so comes old. Out. <laughs> um, who's your favorite sub celebrity to impersonate? And please answer in that impersonation. Um, well, it. Oh, it I know, I know. <laughs> You're so cute. Who? Because I'm a fan of his. Who? Like I low key was like already a fan of his. Of John. Yes. And then I yes, and then I and then and then I found out, I put two and two together that you guys were an item. And I was like, I think it's Marky Mark. It, this is the thing. Like it, okay. it changes a lot because the, I'll kind of go on runs of being like, like if I'm doing Mark Wahlberg, like everything will be Mark Wal like my eyebrows <laughs> will go go like this, and everything I want to everything I say, I'm gonna say it like this. Mm -hmm. He's on to Howard Stern a lot. John, John does yeah, Howard I do, Stern. Yeah, I do Howard Stern. In the morning, Stern, and they so. always ask him, you're right, it's the most popular. They always ask him to do Marky Mark. It's because so Howard likes to get like bullied by Mark Wahlberg's. Like it was his, <laughs> it was like his birthday the day. And I was like, Howard, you forgot about my motherfucking birthday. What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> <laughs> and it, 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 yeah, it, he's, he's well, just aggressive. Well, now Marky Mark moved to Nevada. So you're now oh, Marky right. Mark. He's trying to like start a new Hollywood in yeah. Vegas. Yeah. Well, you know, the, the, the ocean is coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a coastal town soon enough. <laughs> okay, so um, Showtime's I Love That For You has been canceled. How do you feel about that? I feel so good. I mean, that's, <laughs> that you. was our hope. That was our hope. We just wanted to come out doing? of the gate How and doing, just babe? lay a stinking turd down. <laughs> and uh, that's what we accomplished. So, um, Wait, it is or it isn't canceled? It's canceled. No way. Well, Showtime canceled it. They're shopping it around right now. So hopefully it'll land somewhere yeah. because it deserves to land It does. Somewhere. It's such it's a funny. good, funny yeah. show. But now it's you're doing a, a Fox show, right? I just finished a Fox show. It's like a game show Ooh. called Snake Oil where you the contest David Spade is hosting it. The contestants have to guess whether products are real or fake. Mm -hmm. And so me and seven other comedic actors shot 90 commercials for 45 real products, 45 fake products. They'll watch the commercials and have to guess whether the product is real or fake. Mm -hmm. So they're ridiculous products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But What's it was like fun. the oh, you can't. Probably I can't say. say you get to play all different characters though, which is really fun and so up your alley. Oh my god, I played like I played Santa Claus. I played like a fifties doo wop guy. Mm -hmm. I played. Uh, He's I mean, so talented. It was all over. So talented, all isn't over. he? I love him so Wait, much. Why aren't you guys working together again? Um, I would never work with him. He's very difficult. Very difficult to work with. Yeah, yeah but they keep I bringing me back because I am that good. <laughs> <laughs> like, we just have to put up with it. Yeah. 
It's it's uh, artistry. Yeah, he's, he's a creative genius. That's you right. know, he right. actually he, we don't work together, and I don't know why. I think because he's so. Um, what do you mean we don't work together? Oh yeah, we we met working together. We met on the set of Ravens. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, so can can we go back to that? Yes. So I'd love to talk about. This. Okay, please Aww. do. How Thank did you. you guys meet? Okay, well, I played Annalisa's ex-husband on Raven's Home. Mm -hmm. um, I was saying earlier, I think it was probably a good thing that I didn't really watch that So Raven growing up. I think Excuse I was like me? a little. I think I was like a little too old. Like I had just missed it, right? Which was right, good because right. then I was like not no, as no. nervous to talk to talk to her on set, and immediately we just hit it off, and we were just. I was just like, I want to just talk to this girl yeah. and I was dating someone else at the time and I remember thinking like halfway through the first episode the first week I was like I just wish I could ask Annalisa to like get a drink after we finish filming on Friday but I can't because of this friggin girl and also because she's an alcoholic and <laughs> yeah I didn't know that too um, but who you or the girl. Well, he was just like, oh, because you he wanted to ask wanted me out for a drink. For a drink. <laughs> yeah. Right, Sorry. loaded question. That's yeah. what we call that. For a yeah. coffee. He wanted to ask me for a coffee. <laughs> um, and then the second episode, I think she found out that I was dating someone else. Oh. I like specifically did not bring oh, right. up that information. A, I was such a bitch about it. I'll tell you what. I knew I, I liked him. Oh my so God, she was. I liked him so much. I was like, oh my God, there's chemistry, this guy. Yeah. And then, yeah, I'm, did I, how did I find out? Oh, I went on a social. you started looking me up. I went on a social. Yeah. Which I never do. He was guest starring, so he'd be in and out. And then and the next time he came to guest star, we were talking, we were talking, and he was like, kind of flirting me up, just innocent flirting, but in the kitchen. And I said something like, so you live with your girlfriend, right? Like out of nowhere. I was really firm about it too. And like kind of a bitch. I was like, so you live with your, like, I looked him long, dead in the eye. How long have you guys been together? So how long have you been with your girlfriend? But you I remember her, right? also. I was like trying to say, I, I, this isn't, no. You yeah. Know, I know you're dating someone. Yeah, I know we have chemistry, cute. but. Yeah. Yeah. But I also had like, I had also like figured out something to talk to her about, like, the night before, I was like, I can talk to her about this. And then, you're, like, you're coming off so bad right now. His relationship with the other woman, it was on great, the right? outs. It yeah. was on the outs for a long, long time. Yeah. And so, <laughs> I don't know if that makes it any better. <laughs> First of all, you don't need to. He monkey branched. He monkey branched, okay? Are, yeah. What is it called? You know, he didn't really. Monkey branches when you cheat, when you do what Tom San Sandoval did, when you. You hop to another person. Yeah, you kind of get out of a relationship by cheating. You're not strong enough to, to break up, and so you have to do something so horrible that really the other person has to break up okay, with you. Okay, okay, I didn't do anything okay, I'm talking horrible. about Sandoval. Talk I Sandoval. literally <laughs> just talked to you. Okay, okay. But then, and then. So, do you like Sandoval, or are you guys friends? <laughs> listen, you guys like, hang out? You guys, do so we, that's the guy that did the Rodney impression. So that's your listen, do we that's hang out, inspiration. Do that's we your hang idol, out every that's day. your idol, that's your hero. Do we hang out every day? No, but did we play golf this morning? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you gotta say he's he's the one that does that voice uh, about his, his girlfriend. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. Listen. Raquel's always like, "Why are you playing golf today?" <laughs> Um, Dude, I saw that he was about to move to Austin and I was like, be gone, Satan. Oh, yeah. Be gone. Mm, that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's probably like a huge, like, fan. No. Oh, he's I a complete that. narcissist, of course. Something. Some okay. But I, I don't judge this. This is just your story. And you don't need to put judgment on it because it's something that matters to you guys. Mm -hmm. And it's, you're here now. Mm -hmm. This is what was. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that however it ended up being was mm -hmm. meant for it to be that oh, way. Well, also, Absolutely. like, to put it in perspective, like, I was coming in, I came in for three weeks over like a, eight month period. Right. So it was three weeks spread out over that amount of time when I would see her and it was like, we just had a good rapport Sure, together. I mean, it's impossible not to have some sort of energetic pull to totally, her. Totally, yeah. totally. <laughs> and I'm playing her ex-husband and so right. we have scenes together and everything. Right. But then after the third episode, I didn't see her for s several months in that time. I like I counted the days. <laughs> broke, I broke it off okay. and then like right after, it's like that thing where it's like energetically something's happening. Like I broke up with her and then I got invited to the rap party for Raven's Home like two months in the future. And I was like, hell yeah. And then I went to the rap party and I was looking for her and she was like completely avoiding me. Yeah, because I thought you still with somebody. I was like, how do you come to this rap party? I hope you don't think we're gonna be I was like, hey, Annalisa. And she goes, where's your girlfriend? <gasps> yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because like, you knew meeting my lipstick. Yeah. Because you knew you're nervous. No, I just have like you're eighteen. I have eighteen lipsticks on top of each other. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a lot of lipstick <laughs> changes today. today yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait. So you 
you basically, you you were scared. You were like, we have this like. You're a good therapist, Christy. We, no, but I'm so curious. This is, this I was scared. I was like, I like this guy. I really just liked him so much. And um, I said, where's your girlfriend? I was like, what's I'm, what's going on with that? I, we know what's going on, you yeah. know? And he said, you said I broke up. Did you say we broke up? Yeah. That's, he said right away, we broke up. I'm so invested. And then I was still not trusting it. But but then I did. You know, <laughs> before you Then broke some up, guy asked her out at the rap party. Right in and front she of was you? Like, like, and then you oh, had no, to do like your Marky Mark a couple, <laughs> What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> you think you're a tough guy? I'll show you a tough guy. Mm. Let's walk outside with my brother Donnie. Mm. That's what you, that's, and that would have sealed the deal. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but she was like, this guy just asked me out. Like, should I go on the date? And I was like, yeah, for sure. Do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. I know. I was, I was throwing Wait, this was at the rap party. Yeah. So I was like, oh my God, this guy where just asked me out. A lot happened. happened. Like, pins? Like, where the fuck was I, it? I know it was like at Hollywood Center Studios. Yeah. Like, just like down the street at a mm -hmm. restaurant or something. We're like mm -hmm. walking distance from where were we you, filmed. This you, is delicious, by the way. Is oh, it? Are you happy? Sick. I am very happy. Good, good. good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Okay, well, this yeah. was, this was right. Yeah, we got together and we've never looked back. I'm, I'm so no. happy. I love him so much. I know I keep saying that, but you are truly the nicest person in the world and so kind to me. And I know that seems so like obvious, like, like, um, the, sur the surface part or the beginning mm -hmm. of what, oh God, what am I trying to say? Not superficial, just yeah. like basic, basic. Like, yeah. oh, he's nice to you, duh. But there are so many men that just aren't that nice. Or I don't know. Um, <laughs> she did say this in another interview. Yeah. She's like, the, my, my number one qualifier for having a person that I'm dating with is that they're nice. <laughs> yeah, that they're not mean to me, really. Yeah. But, but it's true, it's true. How We've, we haven't mean to her? I don't know. You know? Let's find these assholes. Yeah. yeah. And let's. They've been really mean to me. Oh. I don't like any of them. I want names. Okay, and enough about our the addresses. Yes, enough about our relationship. Enough about our relationship. Yeah, the mean, sex is great. Enough about great. our relationship. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Great. It is. It's fabulous. You guys, let me ask you this, because we're a little spicy here. Okay, mm -hmm. we are. Yeah. Is. yeah. Do you guys do role play? No, sorry. No. What? That's such a letdown. Why? When we're the best roles ever. I'm on Elisa Vanderpool. Yeah, <laughs> He's John, John Wilson. Wilson. I don't know what gets so hotter than that. You guys just basically have a mirror, like, right in we're front of We're not at the point where we need role play, I don't think. We haven't been together long enough. I mean, literally, we lock eyes and it's Yeah, over. it's pretty good. It's we're, we're, pretty, we're pretty zoned in with each other. We yeah. are. Yeah. Should I should I leave? Should I leave right now? I think I'll. Shh, 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 shh. I love you. Uh, so you're doing yeah. this Fox show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's next for you? What's we're asking everybody just because I I've been really surprised and happy with the answers. Like, what's the next role for you? What's your dream role? What's your dream job? What's my? You know, it's dream job job and dream role kind of changes. Like totally. When, I used to when I moved out here. I was like, I just want to be like. Where'd you move out from? Washington, D.C. Would you let him finish? No. I'm just kidding. Moved out from Washington, D.C. because I went to college there. Mm -hmm. I worked you went for, to Georgetown? I worked for three He's years smart. in consulting mm -hmm. for three years, mm -hmm. and which was just like, what am I doing with my life? And then I moved out here. And when I moved out, I was like, I just want to be like a comedy movie star. And now it's like, I, I feel like, T That's all I want. Just a comedy TV movie star. is kind of where it's at, but like podcasts are where it's hey, at. Really, I love it for real. Yeah, um, and you have a podcast. I don't. <laughs> wow. Wait, I literally, I literally just melded another guest. Like, no, don't, and and you have a podcast. podcast. What's it called? Wait, do. You don't get. You don't I get do. when you deserve one. You're fucking hilarious. I don't know. I don't. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Let's cook one up. It's really funny. It's like you guys, you and Brendan are like such. Hustlers, mm -hmm. which I respect so much, and I like. I don't see myself that way. I just want to have somebody tell me what the role is, me get it, and then like have fun on set. Like, <laughs> yeah, I just the you it's just like be talented. I mm -hmm. just just let me be talented for Christ's sake. <laughs> I just want to work without having to audition. Is that so hard? I know <laughs> it's true though. Have right? you ever actually ran into? an egotistical moment uh, for yourself? Like, do you feel like there's Ooh. been things that you've ever had to work on as mm. a person? Like, we're very vocal about the fact that, and you've heard us talk about yeah. how we've grown and, and and have you ever run up against yourself? Myself? Yeah. I, I mean, I think. As a white man. Some, no, everything has been white male. pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, like, I think the biggest things for me, and especially in like the last couple of years, what I've had to do is just embrace like being patient mm -hmm. and being patient with myself and not being so hard on myself. Mm -hmm. I think I am pretty, I'm like definitely my toughest critic, but I'm all, I also like think I'm pretty great too, which is <laughs> like fine, you know, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm pretty hard on myself. So I'm trying to be a little kinder to myself mm -hmm. and, nice. and patient and not like force things, you know? Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yeah. Do you have a lot of 
like guy friends? Oh, have you good. found Let's good guy friends out here in La, I, La Land? You know, in LA, I have a smaller group of guy friends that I did like in college or high school. Like those groups of guys were like a cohesive group of like eight dudes. Mm -hmm. And now it's kind of three here, three there that aren't in the same. But they're like not, it's not like one circle of friends, no, you know? No, no, no. Which I think is also kind of a metaphor for LA. Not in like the industry, you, out of the industry, golf yeah, friends, totally, not golf totally. friends. Yeah, totally, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. But That's why do you ask? Why do you ask? I that? just think it's really fascinating to watch men, um, uh, adult men, have uh, friendships and how they start and mm -hmm. how they form. And I really love finding friends for my husband, mm -hmm. not because he needs them, because yeah. he's the most charismatic person, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But not that he has any time for new friends. Yeah, I, I mean, my gosh. But, he, but you know what? He actually makes time for the people in his life that makes sense for yeah, him. Yes. Yeah, yes. And, and, and yeah, I mean, he's an extremely yeah. good friend, and um, I love I love seeing that side of him. So I don't know, I like pulling that out. And I, I, I remember when y'all visited Austin, and then and they were all smoking cigars down by our little fire. Oh yes, yes. Fire pit. Lovely. I was just like geeking out because I was like and I was like hitting her and I was like, there, it's They're happening. Be They're being friends. <laughs> and you can't help it. Like I just I, I love setting them up. I yeah. laugh. I'm like, it's like a dog park where it's like they're sniffing butts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but I really do love it because I think that men have a need a lot of needs that aren't met mm -hmm. because of you know, y'all aren't a allowed lack of to friendships. Cry. They're not allowed to cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, you know, oh, don't worry, Jono can cry. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, you don't cry that much, but you're very emotionally avail available, very sensitive. It's funny. I don't cry like in real life, but like throw on Castaway, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> yes. Do the things. Let's do the things. So we did but Marky really. Mark. Mm -hmm. Who else? We did some uh, Tom Hanks. And Tom the time Hanks. has flown by. He does a great so Sandra Bullock. Personal. <laughs> just kidding. I don't know why I said that. That's obviously I, not true. If, what if we gave him a random person? Do you think he could like oh. do an impression of someone? I think so. Stallone. <laughs> she knows all the ones. I that, know, right? Oh, I've been doing Sylvester Stallone since I was oh, a little yeah, kid. Have. But a lot of the ones I do are also like facial. So like Sylvester Stallone, when I was little, I realized he, when he was surprised, his eyes stayed the same, but his eyebrows went up. So like Stallone would be like... <laughs> Doesn't look just like him. It's weird. Well, I gotta be honest with you. I'm very surprised about that. And now I'm not surprised. <laughs> and now I'm surprised. You know. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so funny. Oh, yeah, you do like you have like 20 different. Uh, I do a lot. I mean, I did like I tested for SNL twice. Yeah, and what I the did, fuck? And I did. Um, Who cares? The first time I went in, I did. Sorry about SNL. Sorry. <laughs> 13. I did 13 impressions the first time I went in, and then they called me two weeks later, and they're like, "Come back," and I did like 10 more. And I was like, what the hell else do you want from me, people? Yeah. That know? makes me, I, I just wanna, what do you think about, I'm asking Christy, no. what do you think about Pete Davidson? What Listen, is the obsession with this man? I, I, I wish him well. I hope, that, I hope totally. he takes his sobriety seriously. Although he did just get pulled over for like a massive DUI or something. Oh, yeah. I think he I ran into that. a house. Oh no. Okay. Oh, so obviously no. he has his struggles, but I think that um, I think that SNL like uh, gave him a, a time after time, opportunity after opportunity, mm -hmm. and he wasn't really giving any creative like. I feel like not that we know what happens on the inside, but. As a consumer of that content, I don't think he was putting his all into it when someone like you isn't getting on there and they're willing to like do 20 different exact impressions. But there must be something we're missing because they really, he's doing so much now. They're putting in movies and films. Like I, I really want somebody to make me understand it. I, I don't. Look, I mean, look, honey, like I grew up in Disney and there was a lot of girls that right. became huge stars right. that I was right. like, right. you do not. Who? Name them. Name them. Give me names. And, and also, and also, <laughs> right, know that. And also right now there are a billion things for people to be in. So if you have someone in, of a name. You yes, just, of you course, know. of course. Yeah. I, that's the thing. It's like, who the fuck knows, right? I know. Like, who who knows? The fuck knows? Apparently he's a great lover. Oh, is he? I don't know. That's the thing. That's right? basically what everybody. Yes. Everyone's like, "This is the only thing we can come up with." It's just <laughs> that he's must so good in bed. Be, <laughs> he must sleeping around. Well. He's sleeping dick. his way up. Yeah, to well, he's oh, really? always with like all these models and. But is that even real? That that I find fascinating. Are those women? I don't know. Are they yeah, PR? I think some I don't of them know. are cloud chasers, and then the others are. Just uh, it's fascinating. Interested. It is. Really fascinating. Women can be interested, right? Yeah. 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 I guess. Oh. But back to the other. Good luck to you, Pete. He's like, I'm fine. I love your sass. Your brand of sass is we're gonna we're gonna um, pump that. We're gonna up. piss some people off, and I'm here for it. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, I mean, look I, at this shirt. 
<laughs> it's fantastic. Doesn't his shirt piss you off? <laughs> Doesn't it just make you mad? Guys, his shirt is I See you in the comments section, yeah. assholes. Yeah, quit dogging that shirt. That shirt's fabulous. Okay. I even like the I dog think it's color. a great outfit. I feel it's like. It's not a dog color. Oh, whoa. Oh, so sorry. Oh, I feel so like sorry. I'm in Mad Men and like. The, the later episodes where it's yes, like, where they, make where me a Tom out. Collins and I'm going to smoke a cigarette. And <laughs> yes, yes. I'll yeah, drive a car and Let's ask him some of these. I want to hear. I, oh, I, let's yes, do yes, the yes, questions. Yes. Oh, and then, I, and then I haven't asked anyone let this. You go. Would your 12-year-old self think you were cool? Like my 12-year-old self think me now was cool? Yeah. Oh, my God, yes. How the did you not olds? understand that that question? What's what's going know. on, babe? I don't I don't know. Okay. Oh, okay, I got one. Can you yeah, freestyle but, rap? Yes. <laughs> don't no. do it. Don't do it. Don't no, embarrass yourself, huh? No. I love you can you. freestyle rap no. as a wait as someone he. Embraces. No. Oh God, this is even worse. <laughs> this is well, even I told worse. You we gonna throw you into <laughs> it. Do do uh 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 uh. Jason Bateman. Uh, yes. Do, rap. Uh, uh, well, you know, uh, we're just we're uh we're oots, uh, we're uh. Oots, uh oots, we're we're mm, chopping mm, the mm, chopping mm, the meat mm, here mm, on uh, Smartless. Is that even a thing? <laughs> good, good, good babe. No. Okay, Chrissy, you go. No. You hit How would your ex describe you? <laughs> oh, uh, the one that got away. Next question. <laughs> oh, oh shit. shit! In another life, you'd be. I I don't know why. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be cute. I can. No, help. no, it wasn't. Oh. I I the the first thing that came into my head, and this is completely not right. And this I don't know. Just fucking say the it. The Pope. Popped into my head. It was like you were like in another life, and I just pictured myself with a big hat on, and I was like, "I'm the Pope in another universe. <laughs> Maybe fuck? in another universe, I'm the Pope." Well, there that, are like infinite universes. Sounds hot. Sounds super yeah. hot. Yeah. Who oh. is you? Who is your hero? What the fuck? The Pope. The, the fuck Pope. Is who's wrong your hero? The Pope. <laughs> uh, the John the Paul night. II. No, my my. Who's my hero? Yeah. Oh, uh, I got a good one. I got a good one. Okay, so just go to the next one. one. Go. <laughs> Since you're failing, failing me on that question, one thing you wish you enjoyed more. If you say golf, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna murder. No, someone. I enjoy golf so much. So something what's the thing you wish you more? Something I wish I enjoyed one more. One thing you wish you enjoyed more okay. besides auditioning. Okay, meditation. Oh, that's a good one, babe. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. I dropped the ball on several okay. others. What's uh, well, you kind of already know you're guilty. Can we cut the Pope thing out of this? <laughs> Why? It's so I, good. It's that's so gold. psychotic. That's gold. That's, that's gold. That's gold. It's psychotic. Okay, something someone doesn't know about you that makes you say, "Oh hell yes." I'm laughing because he gave he gave me that one. Well, he was like, I was like, what's some of the questions the I can ask? Oh, oh, the, oh the thing that I do that people don't know that I say, oh hell yes, oh, hell yeah. Um, Something um, someone doesn't know about you. Uh, I mean, this is a this is a simple thing, but like it, it, when it is a sunny day and I have mm. my first cup of coffee in the morning and I look outside, I'm just like, oh hell yeah. Mm. Okay, like it just it's like it's like hopefulness for the day ahead. What do you do when you drink a coffee? Oh, what do I think about? Oh hell yeah! Do you look out in the? What's the thing? Are you an optimist like him? Like I do. I am. Yes. The mm. sun, working out, yeah. travel, my sisters, a good meal. I mean, that's something too. Like after working out, and you had a good pump going, and you see yourself in the mirror, and it's yes. like, oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! yeah. Okay, Spoken dirty talk like or no people. dirty talk? Oh, wow. I know the answer to that. What? Dirty talk or no dirty talk? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes, babe. <laughs> Sometimes okay. when you're rock hard. You guys, yeah, baby. You guys so much yeah, baby. Stop, I love how Knock tall it. and hard your shoulders are. Knock and I love off, how full okay, your hair is. Stop. We are out of and here. And I love how big Thank your you big so toe much. is. What a dress you got dropped okay, off. Oh, my gosh. We are, I, mm. I regret this entirety <laughs> of this The smoothness episode. of your nose oh, is something so uncomparable. Oh, my God. I'm getting so I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm out of here. Circumcised or uncircumcised? I'll answer that. We're at zero. Oh, my God. I love you, Jono. You're the best guest. Will you come back? Of course I will. You'll come back. Okay, you better. I love you so much. Thank you for coming. I love you more than anything. Oh, I, I love you too. I love you too. You're here. Oh, Christy's here. Christy's here. <laughs> Hi, Christy. It was a good therapy session. Yeah, it was. I felt I like tried. it. Yeah. All right, Mazel. Mazel. We the, did it. The fucking. Hey! Yeah! Thanks for hanging, you big name bitch. Now come back next Thursday so we can do it all again. 